Thank you and welcome again to the Mesa City Council meeting for October the 3rd, 2022. Uh, all members of our council are present at this meeting with Mr. Luna appearing uh, via Zoom virtually. We will begin this meeting with an invocation offered by Pastor Mike Cash with the East Valley Free Will Baptist Church, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. So Pastor Cash, we invite you to the microphone to offer the invocation. Uh, please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity that we have. Thank you for the freedom in our country to meet as we do. Thank you for those um, who can express their opinions freely without fear of repercussions from the government. Lord, I do ask that you'd be with this council meeting. Big items, small items, everything on the agenda, Lord, we pray that it would be according to your will and to your plan. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, thank you, Pastor Cash, for helping us get the meeting started. Uh, the first item on our agenda for this meeting is our consent agenda, so we invite Mr. Kevin Christopher forward to read that agenda. Mr. Christopher. Good evening, Mayor and Council Members. These are the items on the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk will be considered as a group by the City Council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless a Council Member or a citizen requests in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered as a separate item. Item 2, approval of minutes of previous meetings as written. Item 3A, Act on Liquor License Application for Asian Chamber of Commerce, two-day event, October 8th and 9th, 1920 West Broadway Road. Item 3B, Act on Liquor License Application for Chicanos Por La Casa, one-day event, October 22nd, 922 South Country Club Drive. Item 3C, Act on Liquor License Application for St. Bridget Roman Catholic Parish, one-day event, October 29th, 2213 North Lindsay Road. Item 3D, Act on Liquor License Application for St. Timothy Roman Catholic Parish, one-day event, October 22nd, 2520 South Alma School Road. Item 3E, Act on Liquor License Application for Chupacabra Tap Room, 14 North Robeson. Item 3F, Act on Liquor License Application for Grab and Go Food Mart, 66 South Mesa Drive. Item 3G, Act on Liquor License Application for Hanshin Pocha, Arizona, 1130 West Grove Avenue. Item 3H, Act on Liquor License Application for Lucky Lou's American Kitchen, 1850 South Val Vista Drive. Item 3I, Act on Liquor License Application for Native Grill and Wings, 1837 West Guadalupe Road. Item 4A, approving three-year term contract with two years of renewal options for t-shirts, artwork, and graphics for the Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities Department. Item 4B, approving dollar limit increase to the term contract for urban lake maintenance for the Parks, Recreation, and Community <coughs> Facilities Department. Item 4C, approving three-year term contract with two years of renewal options for custodial services for the Parks and Sports Field Facilities for the Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities Department. Item 4D, ratifying emergency purchase and establishing a term contract using a cooperative contract to purchase gasoline and diesel fuel for the Fleet Services Department. Item 4E, approving three-year term contract with two years of renewal options for light and medium-duty automotive body shop repair services for the Fleet Services Department. Item 4F, approving use of a cooperative contract to purchase one heavy-duty dump truck by the Transportation Department as requested by the Fleet Services Department. Item 4G, approving dollar limit increase and one-year renewal of the term contract for secure security and closed circuit television parts, service, and licensing for various city departments as requested by the Mesa Police Department. Item 4H, approving one year term contract for virtual police officer recruit testing services for the Mesa Police Department. Item 4I, approving use of a cooperative contract for project management and development of computer aided dispatch hazards and live 911 integration for the Mesa Police Department. This purchase is a grant funded by American Rescue Plan Act funds. Item 4J, approving use of a cooperative contract for six years service and capital expenditure agreement for Motorola system upgrade for the Topaz Regional Wireless Cooperative as requested by the Department of Innovation and Technology. Item 4K, approving contract for water transfer station number two, upgrades project pre-construction services and construction manager at risk. Item 4L, approving contract for Greenfield Water Reclamation Plant Blower System Electrical Improvements Project 
construction manager at risk, guaranteed maximum price number one. The project's funded by the Greenfield Water Reclamation Plant Joint Venture Fund with funding split amongst the three partners, Mesa, Gilbert, and Queen Creek. Items 4M through 4P, approving and authorizing the mayor to sign amendments to the employment contracts with the city clerk, city auditor, city attorney, and city manager. Item 5A, approving resolution to enter into an award agreement with the state of Arizona Office of Attorney General to accept grant funds from the fiscal year 2023 Victims' Rights Program. Item 5B, approving resolution to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with the City of Tempe for asphalt maintenance and replacement along a portion of the Rio Salado Parkway. Item 5C, approving resolution to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community for receipt and distribution of Proposition 200 funds. Item 6A, introduction of ordinance amending Title I of the Mesa City Code, Chapter 20, Section, 40, uh, Section 4, delegating authority to the city manager to enter into and accept certain grant agreements without prior City Council approval. Item 6B, introduction of ordinance amending Title V of the Mesa City Code by adding a new Chapter 15 enacting reasonable regulations and licensing requirements on short-term rentals and vacation rentals operating in Mesa. Item 6C, introduction of ordinance amending Title VI of the Mesa City Code by repealing and replacing Chapter 21 with a new chapter pertaining to fireworks and permissible consumer fireworks. Item 7A, approving ordinance for zoning case 21-966 for property located east of Wrecker Road on the south side of Main Street. Rezone and planned area development overlay and site plan review to allow for multiple residence development. Item 7B, approving ordinance for zoning case 22-436 for property generally located west of Signal Butte Road and south of Southern Avenue. Rezone of the planned area development overlay and site plan review to allow for multiple residence development. Item 7C, approving ordinance repealing the existing personnel rules applicable to City Mesa employees and adopting new personnel rules. And item 8A, approving subdivision plat Mesa Gateway 202 for property located south of Warner Road and west of Ellsworth Road. Mayor and Council members, these are the items on the consent agenda. Mayor, uh, Kevin, could we have you go back and just read 5D? We don't think that was uh, read for the record, please. 5D. The Parks and Recreation. Oh, Committee. you know what? I, don't have that on here if someone else can read oh, that. 5D, that's Mayor. approving and adopting the Mesa Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities Comprehensive Master Plan 2022. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, Mr. Christopher. Ms. Mosley, do we have any requests to speak on an item that's on the consent agenda? No requests, Mayor. All right, thank you. Then uh, moving forward, I see Mr. Freeman's made a motion uh, to approve, seconded by Council Member Spilsbury. Please cast your vote. Mr. Luna, how do you vote? Aye. Thank you. Uh, you the consent agenda passes unanimously. Uh, next item on our agenda is item nine, items from citizens present. Ms. Mosley, I know I have one card from one individual. Do we have any other requests to speak? No other requests. All right, thank you. Then uh, uh, Mr. Kerry Davis, I invite you to come forward to the microphone. Mr. Davis, thank you for being here. Uh, you have uh, three minutes to tell us whatever's on your mind. Thank you. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and City Council. My name is Kerry Davis. I live at 7963 East Plata Avenue, Mesa, Arizona. The annual comprehensive fiscal financial report for the City of Mesa reported a $58.4 million deficit for governmental activities before business type transfers for the fiscal year 2021. For fiscal year 2020, the City of Mesa reported a $58.7 million deficit for governmental activities before business type transfer transfers. For fiscal year 2019, the reported deficit was $56.2 million, and for fisc fiscal year 2018, the reported deficit was $31.5 million, totaling a combined $204.8 million deficit for four years. The City of Chandler's annual comprehensive finance report for fiscal year 2021 reported a $13.1 million surplus and a $54.7 million surplus before business type transfers for 2020. Combined surplus of $67.8 million for two years. The City of Tempe's annual uh, comprehensive finance report for fiscal year 2021 reported a $47 million surplus and a $65.1 million surplus before business type transfers for 2020. Combined surplus of $112.1 million for two years. Due to the City of Mesa's significant unfavorable financial performance for 
fiscal years 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021 of a combined deficit of $204.1 million. I have concerns regarding question one on the November 2022 ballot. Question one seeks voter approval to adopt home rule option to apply to the city for the next four years, beginning in fiscal 2023 and 2024. Under the stated imposed limitation, the city estimates it will be allowed to expend approximately $1.24 billion in fiscal year 2023-24. Under a home rule option, if approved by the voters, the city estimates it will be allowed to expend approximately $2.066 billion in fiscal year 2023-24, or approximately $826 million more than under the state-imposed limitation. This is approximately 67% more than allowed under the state limitation. Question two on the November 22 ballot seeks voter approval for the city of Mesa to be authorized to issue and sell general obligations bonds of the city in the principal amount not exceeding 157 million, bearing fixed or variable interest not exceeding 10%. I have concerns regarding question one and two. It seems to, the, to me the city has not demonstrated its ability to operate within its means and should consider whether to spend an additional 826 million more than allowed under the state limitation. Thank you, and Mr. with Davis. the 1.7. Thank, thank you, Mr. Davis. That concludes oh, your, your my three time. minutes are over. Okay, thank uh, you for your time and attention. Unfortunately, because this item is not on our agenda, we can't respond directly to the issues that you raised. But I, I, I appreciate the opportunity we had to chat briefly before the meeting, and uh, I would ask you to please let, let's make an appointment and continue that conversation because I I'm, we're anxious to respond to the questions that you raise. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. You bet. Uh, that concludes everything that's on our agenda for this meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? Thank you, Mr. Thompson, seconded by Ms. Spilsbury. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned. <laughs>